Hello everyone, welcome back to our tutorial. Today we want to cut and sew a basic gown. We drafted the basic gown, so make sure you watch how we draft the basic gown pattern. So now we want to cut and sew a basic gown. What you need is your basic gown pattern. This is my front pattern. This is my back pattern. I'll drop the link on the description box. And this is the material that I'm using for this project. So now the next thing I will do will be for me to pin down my pattern to my fabric. Then I will cut the fabric. So this is the front pattern that I have pinned down. So I will go ahead and cut my fabric. So I'll take off my pattern for the front. Remember when pinning down your pattern on the fabric, you need to make your fabric, your fabric needs to be on fold. I forgot to tell you. The fabric needs to be on fold. So this is my front. So let's go ahead and cut the back this is what i mean by making it to be on four you fold your fabric into two like this then you place your pattern then you carry your pattern and place this way so this is what i meant by folding your fabric into two then i will place my pattern the way i'm placing it now then i will pin it down So I've pinned down the back pattern on my fabric. I want to cut it now. The back, if I'm cutting it separately, I will cut through for the back. But I just want to cut both panels together. So I make my, my fabric to go to be on fold, then I will cut the both sides. Take off my pattern. So these are my two back panels. Can you see? These are my two back panels. And this is my front panel. So the next step is for you to transfer your dart to your fabric. I believe you can see my dart. Let me zoom it. If you can see my dart, I have transferred my dart to my fabric. This is for the front, the face dart, and the second dart. I'll do the same. For my back panel, then I will show you how I transfer the dust. Just carry my back pattern and place it on the fabric, making sure that I align everywhere that the pattern aligns to my fabric. Then, can you see the dust? I use my tracing wheel to trace out the dust. When I trace it out, it shows on the fabric. But if you don't have your tracing wheel, insert the dart the way we did on the pattern. But if you have a tracing wheel, it will be easier the way I am going to show you now. You can decide to pin down your pattern again to your fabric. So starting from where my dad starts, I just trace it the way I am doing now to where the dad stops. Remember for the back, the dad stops one inch below my chest line.
can you see it has shown on the fabric so i'll use my chalk and my ruler to trace the marking So that is my dart. Can you see? We have traced out the dart. I'll do the same for the other side of the back panel. So now I will go to my sewing machine and hold the dart. As a beginner, I will suggest for you to pin down your dart this way. Can you see how I pin this down? Just to show you. Just for it this way. Pin it down. Follow the line that you drew. Then when you get to your sewing machine, mind you, you are sewing at the wrong part of the fabric. Just sew it this way, follow the line to where the dart stops. Do the same for both the back panel and the front panel. So let me show you how to hold your darts. This is the dart that I drew earlier. So you follow the straight line, hold your fabric this way. This is where it starts. So I'm sewing on this other line, the dark leg. Make sure you align everything. Then I'll sew it following this other line. So this is my dad. Can you see? Can you see this other one? Can you see how neat it looks? So after holding the dart, I'll go ahead and iron it. I'll go to my iron board and iron the dart. Then the next thing is for me to cut an interface. What I'll be using to turn the neck. So as you can see, I folded my front into two the way I folded earlier. So I carry my fabric, fold into two this way. Then I'll just place my front fabric, making sure that my center front, that is the side that is on four, matches with this other side. I will push it down a bit. Then I will cut it open. I will cut it. Can you see? Then I will just cut this other one. So this is what I'm using. Can you see? This is what I'm using to turn the neck. I'll do same for the back. So what I'll do now will be for me to carry this interface right side facing each other. I'll place it on top of the neck. Can you see? Then I'll go to my sewing machine. I'll use 0 0.5 inch and sew it round. So as a beginner, you need to pin it down. This tutorial is strictly for beginners. So I'm showing you all the basics. So when you pin it down, then you go to your sewing machine. That will be easier. 
follow the following 0 0.5 inch. You show it after sewing it, then you turn it each side out and iron it. So let's go to the sewing machine now. So I have attached it both for the front and the back. Can you see? Then I will go to my ironing board. I will open it up and iron it. As you can see, I have notched it so that it will be easier to fold back when I want to fold. So I'll go to my ironing board. I will iron it this way for all my panels. That is the both front and the back. So I've ironed the neck. Can you see? I've ironed the neck for the two back panels and my front panel. So what I will do now will be for me to install my zipper. For you to install your zipper as a beginner, you need to mark your zipper allowance face before installing your zipper. So I will mark my zipper allowance then I will show you what to do next. So I have marked my zipper allowance as I said earlier. Can you see? This is my zipper allowance. I have marked for the both back panels. So I will go to my sewing machine. I will install my zipper. I have a video on how a detailed video on how to install your zipper. So I will drop the link so that you can wash it. When you wash that, what I'm doing here will be easier for you. So before installing your zip, determine where you want your zipper to store. For a gown like this, you can make your zipper two inches above your hip line. So this is where I want mine to stop. So I have marked it. Can you see the mark? So I will go to my sewing machine. I will join from here. To the hemline leaving this side for the zipper after joining it then i will install the zipper so i have installed my zipper that is my zipper so the next thing now i will do is for me to carry my front panel and place on top of the back panel right side facing each other Then I will go ahead and sew the shoulder and sew the both shoulder. So I've joined the boot shoulder. Can you see? This is the inside. Can you see the inside? So the next thing I will do now will be for me to attach my sleeve. I'll attach my sleeve, then I will bring it for you to see. So I have attached my sleeve. Can you see? Attach the boot sleeve. You fold the hem. Fold the hem line. So the next thing I will do now will be for me to join my side seams. So the next thing is to join my side seam. As you can see, I have pinned down my front and my back together. And I have measured my seam allowance make use of two inches so i have marked my two inches all down for this side and the other side so i'll go to my sewing machine and join it from the sleeve to the hemline this is the final outcome of our basic gown 
can you see how neat it looks like this is the back view it looks so neat and beautiful thank you so much guys for watching remember to like comment subscribe turn on your notification bell so that when once i upload new tutorial you'll be first to be notified see you on our next video Bye bye